Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Well, Bitcoin continues to be in the range. Yesterday was only an attempt to break out. It was not a successful breakout. I did warn that um, when we get this breakout or another, another attempted breakout, it could easily fail as it has done a few times before. Um, explained to you last week that we could be another one to two more weeks in this range and it seems to be seems to be the case. So hopefully everybody has been, <laughs> been warned. I, thought, I know it doesn't help with the frustration, I know it doesn't help with the, um, you know, with the, um, the whole feeling about being bored in this range because it is an incredibly, incredibly boring range. But that's the case because Bitcoin is at a very, very important juncture here. We all know where Bitcoin is. Yeah, the analysis tells us all the relevant parameters. As highlighted before, against twenty eight thousand five fifty, we can focus on higher, and another high is anticipated. Um, the analysis worked out very well. Over the last few months, um, especially when we expected lower prices, you know, we were quite stubborn that we wanted price to get into that yellow region here. A lot of people getting bullish on these smaller rallies, but price ideally, ideally needed to reach the yellow support area. It uh, was certainly worth waiting for it. Price turned around, rallied in so far what we considered a three wave rally. Yeah, and uh, we idea, the idea is that the larger degree wave 2 finished on the 15th of June. A three wave ready to the upside. The idea was that these three waves finished and that we're now in the fourth wave. Yeah, support did so far hold, provided possible, uh, depending on if you use this area, but certainly to profitable trades for anybody who uses the yellow support area for entering or scaling in. Uh, but you don't need to wait until price hits this yellow area as indicated. Yeah, um, this is a range. So this is an area perfect for range trading. Anybody who likes to trade ranges um, just start to scale in in the lower half of the range and start to scale out in the upper range, uh, in the upper half of the range. I mean, there isn't much more you can do at the moment and more micro counting will not make this chart clearer. Uh, nothing. We can't make the chart do something, unfortunately. I told you where it is. Yeah, and now it's all about just waiting, uh, um, being patient and maybe range trading. But anything else, we just need to wait. Um, just I can only recommend people not to try to try to trade every single wave in these ranges. I explained that many times before when we were in ranges. Um, over trading in a range will make it very difficult. Um, huge position sizes, high leverage will make it difficult in a range. You get a lot of frequent up and down because the market hasn't made up its mind yet. Um, it might make sense to leave the trade a bit more space, size down. That's typically what you need to do in a range, right? And uh, I can't really do much more than highlighting this, highlighting the potential of trading the range, highlighting the relevant support. As long as this is holding, um, price can go higher in the fifth wave, but it takes as long as it takes, okay? So unfortunately, I can't make the market do something. Um, we need to wait until the market takes a move, makes a move, but we can identify the relevant parameters for the next major move. And we also can identify the parameters that are relevant for this particular wave count. And you all know that as long as we're holding the 28,550 level, we can expect one more high. Now, that might mean that we will make here another low as indicated in yellow. Um, but in such a range, that is, of course, not guaranteed. Yeah, you need to know that. Um, best is just to approach it from a tactical perspective of range trading, if you like to trade these waves. But but obviously, the individual moves and waves in a range are quite uncertain. Um, so what you can do is either zoom out where you have a bit more clarity because the overall chart is fairly clear. You can just trade the larger time frame, which would mean you could, for example, just trade this support area uh, and scale out in resistance. Um, but really zooming in and trying to understand the micro count in such a range is extremely Difficult. It's not only difficult, it doesn't make any sense because uh, it will change frequently anyway. So with the latest move here, I think we are still in the wave four. I explained that in um, in yesterday. No, I didn't explain it in the video, I think. Um, but we talked about the potential of failure here. And it did eventually fail, at least so far. And we only have a three wave move to the upside. So Bitcoin did not manage to make a new high in this range. So, you know, what, what happened? We only had a three wave move up indicated to you yesterday that we can really only expect a successful wave five if we get five waves up uh, above resistance. We only had three waves and did not have a sustained break above resistance. So from that point of view, 
um, the previous scenario never finished and we are still in the scenario that we discussed about a couple of days ago, three days ago. So it could still give us another low, at least that is something we need to expect. It can, as long as it's obviously holding the um, 7th of July low, it can always go a bit higher. And the relevant breakout point now would be 31,150 because I'm counting this as an ABC structure in a Y wave. And this B wave will get less likely if a break above 31,150 occurs, but it then needs to take really the last step break above 31,500. And I would like to have at least at least 31,800 as a target for wave five. Um, a lot of people are asking, can you add more micro counts? No, there, there is no point adding more micro counting. People will try to take it for certain, but um, there are no certainties in a range like that. Nothing literally happened um, for a couple of weeks and more micro counting or even more indicators, as some suggested, will not make this chart clearer. It takes as long as it takes. Um, we have identified all the relevant parameters. We've identified the trend. We've identified a target. And now the market just needs to do it, its thing. I told you all where we are. And um, yeah, I know some are getting frustrated. But again, unfortunately, I cannot make the market do something. It is frustrating for me as well because it seems like all markets are ranging. All bloody markets are ranging. We've got Bit Bitcoin ranging. A lot of cryptos are ranging. We've got net gas ranging. We've got the S&P 500 currently building a possible top. There's also a process. We've had the DXY ranging for a while. Let's see, maybe we get a bit of movement there now. Um, we've got gold ranging. You know, it's 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 incredibly uh, boring, but that often happens in summer. In summer markets are rather quiet. Oftentimes, at some point in July, Bitcoin starts to move. Yeah, sort of towards end of July. Let's see if it does that this time as well. But the idea is still to get one more high. If price breaks below 28,550, then we have to assume that this wave one already finished either here on the 23rd of July or on the 6th of, uh, 23rd of June or 6th of July and that we're already here in the deeper wave two pullback and then support is between 26,190 and 28,100. Um, but yeah, we're not there yet and I hope you like the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership and also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. You can find the links in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.